What's up my friends, welcome back. This will be an update video on the Brushed Motors drone project because a lot of you guys ask me about that. So before we even start I have to say that the project works but the PCB for this video, this PCB here doesn't. You see this is the third version for this PCB and I'm kind of getting frustrated. I'm still having some errors. I first had errors with the transistors, then with the voltage regulator for 3.3 volts and then with the weight of the drone. So I thought I managed to solve those problems but I'm still having some errors that make this board not to fly. Okay guys, so hear me out. This project works. I know that because I've made some tests with this drone here. Not with the small one, but with the big one. This is made with an Arduino Pro Mini and the, the frame of the drone is made out of wood so it's very light. Both the transmitter and the receiver, the flight controller are made with Arduino so we are, this project is fully made with Arduino and also we are still using very cheap brushed DC motors. Okay, so in case of this PCB for today's video, I thought that removing the plastic frame will get rid of the weight problem. But now I have to use these small propellers because I don't have the gear mount anymore and using this kind of very small propellers will lose some lift power. So the drone is still heavy. Not heavy for these big propellers, but heavy for the small ones. I've also had some problems with the board resetting itself. So after hours of tests and guessing that the problem is created by the motors with the current spikes, I've placed a huge capacitor at the input and now the board is not resetting itself anymore. But that's not good for me because using a huge capacitor will only add more weight to the drone. Also, in the previous board I was using the AMS1117 to get the 3.3 voltage. But that has a very high voltage dropout. So getting for 3.7 volts from the battery to 3.3 volts was impossible. So then I've used the HT7333. Because that has a very low voltage dropout. But for some reason the output was not powerful enough for the radio module. So I've decided to connect directly 3.7 volts from the battery to the radio module and that worked fine till now. Also a 10 microfarad capacitor placed exactly at the input of the radio module helped me a lot. And also a very thin wire soldered on the antenna that will help the radio connection a lot. Ok guys so I'll put this project aside for a while till I will get good results. But I'm more than happy to know that the project works because I've made tests with this drone and it flies pretty decent. You will have the codes, the schematics updated in the description below if you want to build the same project, so check the description for all the files. This should be a very good example that creating your own PCB will give you problems. And that taught me a lot and I hope that you will learn something as well. Please, after you see this video, leave a comment below in the description with any suggestions on how I could improve this project and get rid of the error. So guys, let me show you how I've made this board, the problem that it has and the final result. So let's get started. Project sponsored by GLC PCB. You can order your boards with a thickness from 0.4 up to 2 mm. And if you use a lot of SMD components, order directly the stencil for solder paste as well. Upload your Gerbers. Select the board settings, mark the stencil box and order the boards for very low prices. What's up my friends, welcome back. First of all you have a full guide, the schematics, final code and all that you need to build this project below in the description. This brushed motors drone finally works and I'm more than happy about that. But today we will build this version which still has some errors and I'll definitely post a future improved version. So I start by gathering all the components that I need. You have a full list with this below. We need the PCB that I've created, 4 brushed coreless very small motors like this ones here the MPU 6050 IMU, the Honor F24 radio module, the transistors, diodes and other small components, like the 60 MHz crystal, a small 3.7 V battery and the buzzer it's extra, and of course the plastic propellers. Ok guys, so I need an Atmega chip. I could use this brand new chip and burn a bootloader to it. But in order to save some time and not have to burn a bootloader, I desolder one from an Arduino Nano or a Pro Mini that I already know that it works. The white dot on the board will tell you the first pin. I put some solder paste over the pads. Don't put too much. Place the chip and use the hot air gun and solder the component. I check if there are short circuits and that each pin is well connected. Then I solder the 16 MHz crystal, the 22 picofarad capacitors for the crystal and the 10K pull-up resistor to the reset pin and an LED on pin D13. 
also very important the 100 nanofarad capacitor between reset and DTR pin. So now I could test if the microcontroller works. I use the FTDA programmer and upload a blink sketch. And yes, it works. The LED is blinking each one second. So now I could keep soldering components. I first soldered the transistors for the motors with their diodes and the 1K pull down resistor. Then I test if a fade code works and that I can get the PDLM signal and also if the motors can spin. After that I remove the motors and keep soldering components. Now one improvement for the schematic is the use of the HT7333 LDO to regulate the 3.3 voltage. Before I was using the AMS1117 and that has a huge voltage dropout. So if I use a 3.7V battery, the output couldn't be 3.3V for the Anorev24 radio module. I solder the regulator in place with the capacitors as well and then I connect a 3.7V battery to the main input. Now I check the voltage on the 3.3 pin with my multimeter. If the voltage is ok, I solder the radio module as well and test the radio connection. I've uploaded a code that will fade the LED instead of the motors and test it with the radio controller. I also test the connection with my other homemade radio controller. You have the links for the video on how to make this controller below. Ok so I've also soldered in place the MPU6050 IMU module on the I2C pins. I glue in place the motors for each arm using hot glue. I might use later other type of glue since the motors might get hot and melt this kind of glue. Now I solder the cables from the motors to the motor spin for each arm. Make sure that the motors will spin in these directions and if not just swap the cables and reverse the rotating direction. I put the propellers and the drone is ready. Now it's time for the code. I've used the multi wii version that is adapted to receive signals using the Anorev24 radio module. It will create a PAD algorithm and control the motors and I was hoping that it will fly straight. Download this code from a link below. Connect the FTDA module, open the code in the Arduino IDE and upload it to the flight controller board. Now with the USB connected run the multi wii java application and open the CAM communication for the drone and see if the data read is ok. Place flat the drone on the table and hit calibrate accelerometer. After that I move the drone around and get a good read for all the axes. I power the transmitter and see if I get a good signal read for each channel. If yes, we are good to go. I place the drone on the ground, I connect the battery and put throttle to minimum and yaw to maximum for 3 seconds and that will activate the motors. With the drone connected to my PC, as you can see, the R indicator turned green. Now I increase speed and let's see if we have a liftoff. And as I said before, we don't. It seems a little bit heavy. Let's go back a bit. First error that I had is a bad radio connection. Even with 3.3 volts supplied to the radio, I couldn't receive data. But when I supplied 3.3 volts from my power supply, the radio module worked. So for some reason the LDO is not power enough but the datasheet tells us that it can deliver up to 250mA. Anyway to fix that I've connected the radio module directly to 3.7V from the battery and that works for now. A higher voltage than that might burn the module. Next each time that I was starting the motors the drone reset itself. I fixed that with a huge capacitor at the input. Now everything seems to work fine. Once again I start the drone, increase throttle but there is no lift up. The motors can lift the weight of the drone. For future improvements I won't fill the board with copper and also order the 0.6mm board. That should lower the weight a lot. This one has a thickness of 1.6mm. Also I'll try to use smaller components as for example the SMD version of the Anorev24 radio module and maybe a smaller crystal. Before we end this video let's see some tests. Sometimes the drone lifts itself like 3 or 4 cm, but nothing more. I can control it but with so much weight all the tests are useless, so definitely the weight is the major problem.
Well, that's it for this update on the brushless motors drone. By the way, if we sum the prices for all the components of this drone, the Arduino, the MPU6050, 4 motors, the gears, battery and transistors, the price is under $15. Once again, check the description for the final schematic and code if you want to build one yourself. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see future videos. And also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. And remember, if you consider helping my project, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.